so I've said it before and I'll say it again, Jordan Peterson, as much as I have a problem with some of the things he says, as in most things he says, he definitely was right about Ethan. His audience continues over and over to eat him alive and it is just genuinely funny to see. Now, it feels like literally once a month I come on here and talk about, you know, one of his controversies. I thought about laying off for a bit, but his apology on Hassan's stream made me, you know, decide to come out of uh, my Ethan Klein hiatus, I guess you could say, because this is just, <laughs> this is just so funny. Like, he cultivated this audience, and every time he wants to make a joke that's even slightly out of line and doesn't target, like, a white man or a conservative, he's instantly in for it. So I'm going to play the clip that started this whole nonsense in the first place. Why? Why? What is going Something, on with you? I'm sorry, don't, don't mind me. If you are able to look at women who are not selling themselves or benefiting off. off of Why? being seen sexually. <laughs> You're a monster, dude. <laughs> you guys are crazy. Why did you do that? Zach, what the fuck, bro? So yeah, if, you know, a streamer like Augie RFC made a joke like that, people would be like, ah, ha, ha, funny, and they move on. Personally, I didn't get the joke exactly. You know, I'm not even trying to be like, I don't see what's funny about her pouring her heart out. I just don't get the joke. Maybe they were trying to be like, oh, she's saying all these things, and then this musical uh, cue comes in, like, uh, we don't really care about what you have to say, I guess. but. Here, regardless of that, he has uh, now been inundated with a bunch of people getting angry and claiming that he doesn't actually care and that he's a grifter. Now, personally, I don't know if he's a grifter. I don't know him, but he has done a lot of grifty things, if that makes sense. Grifty is not a word at all. But I do want to read some of the things that people are saying on Twitter because I find them very interesting. This is what I keep saying over and over again. Ethan Klein and Hassan Abi do not care about women or women's rights. Stop idolizing fake leftists just because they are sometimes funny. I, I don't understand why Hassan caught a stray. Maybe because he didn't, you know, immediately throw his business partner who he's definitely contracted to under the bus instantly. You know, like like that wouldn't cost him probably hundreds of thousands of dollars. I don't know. But uh, this is really interesting to think about. I don't think Hassan's a grifter just because, you know, he's chilling with Ethan. And I don't think Ethan's a grifter because he wants to make an edgy joke every once in a while. You can be a left-leaning person and make, uh, you know, an edgy joke just because you have a certain political view doesn't mean that you have to, uh, you, you, you can't make any jokes. Now, I'm done talking about politics uh, because... I hate that, and that's not what this channel is about, even though I keep having to talk about them. It's my own fault. I mean, it comes up, and I choose to talk about the topics. It's not like I, you know, get forced into saying the things I have to say. Sadly, people like Ethan Klein think it's funny to sexualize women without their consent. He even laughed about it on his own stream. His IDF veteran wife, Ela Klein, needs to stop enabling him. He's running his reputation and family. So, uh, once again, a stray, this time for Ela Klein. Uh, I don't think people, people don't choose to be in the IDF. Like, you, you have to do it. If you are born in Israel, you have to spend three years in the IDF. That's for everyone who is an Israeli person. If you, That's just how, you know, it is over there. So, you know, that's whatever. Uh, or correct me if I'm wrong, but I... From everything I've heard, it is mandatory to do at least three years of service in the IDF. Now, 
Uh, I don't think that he was trying to laugh at, you know, the fact that she was feeling uncomfortable about, about uh, being in these deep fake videos. I don't know if I brought that up earlier, but yeah, that's what this is all about. It all comes back to the Atrioc thing, which is wild that, you know, this all, you know, loops back to that. But uh, like I brought up before, uh, Ethan had an interesting uh, apology on Hassan's stream, and so I'm going to play that for you. Stream ended. I immediately went and apologized to Cutie. Um, I told her that, you know, it was super fucked up and rude and ridiculous. And the worst part is that I really do respect her and, you know, feel that what she was going through was 100% valid. And uh, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me. And uh, it was really bad and disrespectful. I understand she's a close friend of yours too, and it sucks because obviously you don't. Have, it's not like you have to listen. I fucked up and I feel horrible about it. What and I, you're you're cutting off? It's not like you don't have to, and then you cut off. Uh, the point is, is that I fucked up. I immediately apologized to her, and uh, I'm a giant idiot. What you know what I mean? Yeah. Do you, um. Did you did you talk to Cutie at all after or no? I don't know. I because I I messaged I, I, her okay. and she she you know I've gotten to the point of where like I I don't even like it like oh you you always talk about how people shouldn't make these types of jokes but then you turn around and you make these types of jokes because he's not gonna change you know I, honestly all I say is he made his bed and now he has to lay in it I don't care if he complains whatever you know he, he does sound pretty sad in this clip like oh man i feel really bad <laughs> i can't believe this i i can't believe I, this was so messed up i, I talked to cutie i i'm so sorry like dude it just calm down okay you made a joke it was in somewhat poor taste to other people i didn't even get the joke i guess i understand why people would see it as disrespectful but uh I, the joke wasn't even, you know, funny enough to, uh, it, it definitely wasn't worth it, I guess you could say, at least not for him. But, uh, if you thought this part was bad, uh, trust me, it gets worse. So what, what happened? What was going on in your mind when you, cause my assumption was that you were just, you were like, uh, you know, breaking through maybe in a goofy mood through, uh, the, the previous like Atrioc. Uh, part of the conversation and then you carried it on because it was like serious you carried it on to like uh cutie's reaction which was like fucked up i mean your reaction was as you also correctly called out yeah i don't know honestly i don't know the whole yeah we were goofing on his video a lot i don't know honestly i don't know what what in my head thought that that was gonna be a funny moment I don't know. She you know I mean? this is so sad. We were definitely man. goofing on his reaction and I um... you know, it, it takes a bold person to lie publicly, obviously, and probably not even bat an eye. Because on some level you obviously found this funny. There is no way that you, you thought the idea was funny in your head. You probably I don't understand what you thought was going to be funny about it but you made the joke if you make a joke you know in your head why you think it's funny i don't know and you're like oh yeah we're trying to uh, you know we're bagging on atrioc and then you know it just happened to end up to where we also accidentally bagged on qt and it's like dude just just take the joke just say you messed up say that you won't do it again don't drag out the whole apology thing. Don't go on somebody else's stream so you can get out in front of the drama, which didn't even work in the first place. Now you just look like even more of an idiot and even less credible than you already did, which is pretty impressive. You know, I'll give you a, you know, a quick little round of applause for uh, managing to pull that one off because uh, I didn't think that you would have the ability to lose any more credibility and you know even you pulled through you really really pulled through so uh congratulations for for that and uh, i'm gonna end off the video here because i don't really have anything else to say about ethan honestly other than 
you know what? The next time you get mad about somebody t- telling a joke, you should uh, tweet the clip at him. Genuinely, I will. Uh, the next time I see some see him ranting about somebody making a joke, I will be the first one replying with the video. And uh, speaking of Ethan Klein videos, I want to end us off with uh, one of his classics. <laughs>